A North Austin neighborhood continues its work to curb panhandling in the community. They say the problem has spread from the intersection of I-35 and Breaker to nearby residential streets. KXAN's Doug Shoup is in the studio now with a story all new at 9. Well, Leslie, the Walnut Creek Neighborhood Association is active and vocal. Members have been working for years to cut down on panhandling and crimes connected to a large transient population in the area. Tonight, they say they will remain vigilant. You don't have to wait long to see people panhandling at I-35 and Breaker Lane. Some of them, like Stacy Lawrence, live a desperate and dangerous life in wooded homeless camps near the intersection. I'm very tired and my feet are aching and I've been wounded several times. A large number of panhandlers walk through the intersection daily, but nearby homeowner Chris Rogers says they also spill over into the well-established neighborhood streets. One of our best residents backs up to the Austin Motor Inn, and her yard's constantly filled with trash. She said people crawl over the fence, drunk, urinating in her yard. Rogers says although prostitution in the area is down, they still see drug activity. We're having a hard time selling homes in this neighborhood. They're not selling as well as they could, and the biggest problem is everything going on at Breaker and 35. They say a neighborhood watch that started a year and a half ago has kept crime relatively low. They credit police for cracking down on prostitution, and they're thankful the city recently placed large barrels at the intersection to cut down on loitering. But homeowners say many transient people still in the area need help. There are a lot of them that, that do need psychiatric help, uh, maybe a, some form of rehab. I, I don't know how many times they may have already been in such systems, but these guys could use some help. And despite the compassion many neighbors have for people like Lawrence, protecting family, homes, and property values is a priority as well and a constant battle. And you do have to stay on top of it. Tonight was the Walnut Creek Neighborhood Association's annual meeting. They'll use comments, suggestions, and questions posed at tonight's meeting to continue to help cut down on the problems at the intersection. Reporting live in the studio, Doug Shoup, KXA and Austin News.